right. Okay, so we're here at a restaurant. So we're gonna eat some Vietnamese food. I'm joined by Aaron. So are you ready to go eat some delicious Vietnamese food? I'm ready and I'm excited. Yeah. All right, let's yeah. go. Let's do it. This one's the Ban Seo, right? It's ban Seo. That's the Ban Ka. Ban Ka. Yeah. yeah, this place is actually called something Vung Tao yeah, yeah. because it's quite a popular dish there. Yeah. Uh, is this where this stuff came from, Vung Tao? Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, the bonsai, like, the first time I had it, I couldn't believe it. I was like, man, this is, I was like, okay, this will be good. But it was like, it was so delicious. Yeah. The, really, the flavors, it was weird. You know? I'm a big fan of it. And it's quite different in the north and the south as well. Oh, it is, um, huh? Yeah, like everywhere in the country is like slightly different. Uh -huh. It's a bit smaller in the north and a bit more crispy as well. This is here, it's like bigger and a bit more oily, I find, but oh, okay. it's still, still really good. What's your favorite food? What's your favorite Vietnamese food? I was gonna ask you that as well. <laughs> <laughs> I really like bun cha, bun tu nung, bo ko, like tons of different foods, honestly. Uh -huh. Which one's bo ko? The beef soup with like the bang mi that you dip into. Oh, I haven't yeah. had that one yet. Oh, that's really yeah. good, man. Yeah, you gotta try that. Oh, Let's order then, shall we? Uh, mut. Bangkok, Bangkok Tong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what ban sale? Yeah, it's bar. It's good. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's start with that. We can always get more. I was like, is this uh, gada? <laughs> is this iced tea? No, it's fish <laughs> sauce. Oh, oh, nice. Oh wow. Is that is this uh that's pickled? Yeah, I think it's it's usually something pickled, right? So we got some jada, iced tea. So you got a coffee there as well. Yeah, you like the Vietnamese coffee. Yeah, I love the Vietnamese coffee. Um, and it's sometimes, to be honest, it is too strong. Yeah, it's like freaking rocket fuel. Yeah, right. It's uh, this. That's why I ordered this one. This is the milk coffee. So as you can see, it's not so dark. The baksu. You know? Yeah, baksu, yeah. But sometimes, like, what is it, the fin sura or the fin su? Yeah. I don't, what's fin mean? Because uh, every time I get it, it's like freaking like... I'm not sure what's, it's what It's dark and is. strong. But yeah, yeah it's, it's yeah. strong. Vietnamese coffee is super strong. I actually gave up coffee for a while, just to, like take a break. Uh -huh. um, occasionally, yeah, you just need to take a break from the Vietnamese coffee. It's super strong. It's a lot, yeah. I, I don't do it. I, I actually drink a lot of milk tea. Yeah, me too, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Good old boba. Yeah. yeah, it's not as bad with the caffeine contents in those, but they put a lot of sugar in if you don't say no. I know, I know. But that's the one thing, you know, Vietnamese are so healthy, I mm. feel like, and they're all very thin, everyone, like, yeah. they don't really overeat, but Except when it comes the to the drinks, it's like, yeah. man, I'm like, I don't understand, it's like, it's contrary, you know? Yeah, like totally. This it doesn't make sense. It's so. it's like you get a smoothie and then it's got sugar and condensed milk in a, a fruit smoothie. Yeah. So you don't even need like more sugar, but I they know. put like extra extra sugar. Yeah. Should we try these spring rolls? Yeah, yeah. There yeah, we got some fresh spring rolls. I feel like the sauce tastes a little different than mm. normal. There's some sharpness in it or some kind of like spice maybe? Yeah, I mean like different areas do it differently so maybe this is more like the Vung Tao style. Mm. So Vung Tao is obviously a, a coastal city about two hours from Saigon and there's lots of obviously seafood there seafood. and so that's uh, I think this specializes in food from there. You mean record? Uh, well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, don't give me a heart attack like that. <laughs> yeah, I've only been to Vung Tao one day. Oh yeah? Yeah, it was a quick trip. I think I had, uh, I had fried chicken and rice, come okay. and, yeah. uh, and like fried balls, like on the, on the, on the ocean. Like it was okay. one of those little stands, you know? Fish balls? Yeah, like fish like balls, fish yeah. Fish cakes, yeah. Like fish cakes, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean the seafood there is really good. So next time you go, you gotta check out, like get one of the seafood buffets where you can like, choose everything oh, you want. Because yeah. it's really cheap there by the, the beach. It's, it's, the seafood's cheaper there, obviously, right? I think it's a bit cheaper. Yeah, I mean okay. just like smaller cities in general, it's kind of like cheaper overall. I'd yeah. Say. 
Because the Kumga, ironically, the Kumga Chin was more expensive. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I was like, it was like um, 80 or 90, I think. Mm. And it was just a normal little plate, you know? Mm. Where you can get that here for like 30 or 40, you know? Yeah, so it was pretty, expensive. it was surprising. Yeah, how you, what is it, Ban Kut? Ban Kut? Ban Kut? It's some glutinous mm. rice cake, I think is the best way to describe it. When they actually cook it, they have like these little molds that they pour it into and cook it in that. Yeah. And then, yeah, I think we normally eat it with the nook mum, fish sauce. You like your fish sauce? Yeah, yeah, I actually <laughs> <All> do. <right. laughs> I like the fish sauce, but I, I don't like the mum tum. Oh yeah, me neither. <laughs> like the kitchen, what is it? It's it's uh, fermented shrimp paste, right? Exactly, yeah. yeah it's, that's <laughs> not my favorite. I think a little bit of it can be okay, like if you eat Bun Bo Hue, it's got like a bit in it. For me that's alright, just a little bit to flavor it, but like when you dip whole things in it, that's too much for me. Okay, well let me try one of these. Mm. Sounded good, that was crunchy. Mm -hmm. Good, huh? Mm -hmm. It almost tastes a bit like a donut, don't you find? Like a crispy dough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was like, man, that's like the perfect balance of crispy. Mm -hmm. And then it's got the softness underneath it. Yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh. It's good. Seriously, that is yeah. good. Ah, there's the bun cell. Okay, oh, let's see nice. if we can make some space here. Wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there's actually like crepe, crepe, crepe batter in that, right? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think it's got rice flour and Normal flour? I'm not sure exactly. Oh yeah. Wow, look at that. Yeah, that thing is massive. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shoot. Alright. So let's just have a peek inside there so you can see what's what's oh, inside. Yeah. Oh, just broke it. Oh, Alright, well you can get a get a look inside there. So I think this one's got shrimp and pork in it. Alright, let's let's give it a go. I'm just gonna Pull some off the side here. Okay, Sorry. so generally what you do is just throw it into here. Um, you can do like a little wrap. Maybe put some of this in as well. Yeah. And this is not going to be a very elegant one, but you kind of just roll it all yeah, up. Yeah, it's going to taste good. Yeah. <laughs> Hear the crunch. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. Good. Do I use this one too? Or? You can if you want. Yeah. Oh, this thing's like a banana leaf. <laughs> yeah, that's huge. Here. <laughs> so you feel under pressure right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh well, no, I guess this is my second time eating it. First, the one mm. I had, honestly, it was big, but it wasn't quite as big. This thing is like, yeah. it's like family style. And then this sauce? Yeah, I think usually you're gonna you roll it, it up yeah. and dip it in, but like, you can try. Uh oh, I think I, I loaded it up too much. This is like a Chipotle burrito. Yeah. Have you ever had one of those? Yeah. <laughs> That's a that's what a big one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a monster. Okay, here we go. Wow, this thing is juicy. It probably looks disgusting on camera. <laughs> this is a little bit different than the first one I had. Oh yeah. Yeah, the first one I had honestly was very very good. This one's really good too. But this green is like a, it's like kind of like got a tangy vinegary mustard green. Yeah, taste it's a mustard it. taste. Yeah. yeah. I Which prefer I love, the, the normal like lettuce leaf than that, yeah. to be honest. So yeah, maybe try one with the lettuce leaf afterwards. This bun seo itself, pretty good. Uh, it's crispy. I think I prefer it a little bit more crispy than this. Um, but it's got the bean sprouts inside. And yeah, I might try a little bit just without uh, the lettuce. Right, 
I mean, it's it's pretty good. It's probably not my favorite one. Either. It's not really salty enough for me, to be honest. Like, I find that a lot with Vietnamese food, sometimes not salty enough. Uh -huh. When you have sauce and stuff with it, like, you don't notice it that much. Oh. But I feel like it could be a bit saltier, a little it's bit crispier. But not bad. I mean, yeah. it's, like, it's pretty good. I think I prefer the bun cuts. Uh huh. Yeah. The bun cut is phenomenal. That is seriously good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to dig in there, Taylor? And yeah, sure. We got Taylor here. Yeah, he's uh, behind the camera today, but now he's in front of the camera. Yeah. <laughs> see. Yours was too big, and now mine's like too yeah. small. All right. That's pretty good. I like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have, no, I have no comparisons to how it had before. Uh, yeah. But, yeah. So what is your channel about, like what's, uh, oh, what yeah. are you interested in showing people? Just travel around, yeah. food, um, I, my channel has kind of evolved into like, talking to more random people on the street just because I feel like I'm not that interesting so I kind of just like to turn the camera and you know, I, like if for instance if I'm talking about a topic in a country, yeah. I like to just be like well I'll just go ask the people that live here, maybe they have some opinions on it. Yeah. You know? So actually, I'm going to Malaysia in two weeks, <laughs> Kuala Lumpur. Um, which I wasn't, I, I thought I would like it, but now that I've done more research on it, it seems like it's an amazing city, you know? So I'm excited about that. Yeah. And also Singapore is like a four or five hour bus ride mm. from Malaysia. So I'm probably gonna go there for at least a couple days because it's really yeah. expensive. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, I enjoyed Malaysia a lot. I went to Kuala Lumpur. Um, great food, like, because they've got the Malay food, the Chinese food, and the Indian food there. Yeah. Actually, some of the best Indian food I've ever had was in Malaysia. Really? Um, yeah, and it's a really nice city, like, everything works really well, it's quite clean. Uh -huh. I enjoyed it a lot. See, yeah, I'm that'll be fun, yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to go there. It should be. I, I think I'm going to have to go to Singapore. I feel like it's stupid not to, just because of the proximity, you know? Yeah. Like, at least for a day, you know? Maybe, uh, or just like, go down there and fly out of there or something, you know? Just. I would go check out Singapore if you're there for a little while, because yeah. uh, just seeing the city itself is awesome. Like, you don't have to go do the expensive stuff, but uh -huh. the city itself just looks awesome. It's, like, very futuristic. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I enjoy Singapore as well. So yeah, we're probably going to chat in the next video coming out uh, a bit more about like your story of coming to Vietnam. But like in this video, do you want to just mention like some of the things you like about living here in Vietnam? Uh, well, yeah, let me give you two right off the bat. I love coffee and I love chara, the iced tea that mm -hmm. gets served everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, no, I love I love the food. Um, I really do like the culture here. I feel like across the board in Asian countries, I feel like there's this bottom line. Um, like chillness, I guess you could say. Overall, I feel like it's really relaxed, you know? Mm. So I love that about Vietnam. Um, I love the convenience of living here, the ease, yeah. you know? It's like traveling around, you can get around on a scooter very easily. So you ride a motorbike, yeah? Yeah, yeah, so I, yeah, so I, ride, I ride a motorbike. Um, and yeah, I mean, you can buy one for good for a really reasonable price. Um, I know you can get one for like a decent one for anywhere from like $400 up. You know, and, and they're all over, and it's very, or you can easily rent one too. Yeah, you know. Exactly. And I guess the final thing that I like about Vietnam is everything's kind of new. You know, like so I'm from the I'm from the U.S. For instance, in the Philippines, there's a lot of Western influence there as far as marketing and movies and and brands. You know, especially when it comes to food. Mm -hmm. So I feel like Vietnam is much less influenced uh -huh. by that. So for yeah. me, I, I really feel like I'm I'm more in a foreign country. So, which was your favorite between the bun cut and the bun sale? Oh, this is still recording, huh? I guess oh, so, yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. No, all good. Um, I like the bun cut. Yeah. Yeah, I like the bun cut. Me too. I yeah. think bun sale can be really good. This wasn't my favorite one, but it was alright. And then the bun cut was really good. Yeah, the, like you said, and I didn't think about it, I didn't want to say it, but it's true. It's a little, it's bland. Yeah. But I think that's intentional. Mm. You know, because the, this the fish sauce is so salty, yeah. And all the you know, you can fix it up. But overall, yeah, solid meal. I enjoyed it. What would you give it as a rating? Cool rating? Yeah. Oh man, I'm a sucker. <laughs> I, I don't like. Uh, I would give it a. I'd give it like an eight or a nine. I think. I, and I'm no expert. I've only had a couple, but I've had this 
Bancard a few times. I've had yeah. Bonsai once, but I would definitely give this Bancard just as good as the other times. So maybe cool. nine. I'll give it a nine. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I'd maybe give it an eight just because the, the Bonsai have pulled it down a bit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but overall, solid meal. Yeah. And I guess it was about a hundred per dish. Uh, oh, really? 100,000 dong, so what's that, like $4 per dish? Yeah, so, um, yeah, between us it comes about $4 each uh, if we split it out. Um, and we also have the spring rolls, which are about 15k each, so that's $45,000, $2 for three spring rolls. So, uh, not bad price. I mean, we're in District 1, so it's a little bit more pricey here than like some other spots uh -huh. in the city, but overall, yeah, not bad price. So. Um, if you want to check out Aaron's channel, where can uh, people find you? On YouTube, it's Aaron Around, and on Instagram, which I'm trying to get that going, it's Aaron underscore Around. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, go check it out. And then we've got another video coming up after this where we we're gonna speak a bit more about like Aaron's. It's called you, Aaron. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it Aaron or Aaron? Aaron, yeah. All right, so um, yeah, check out Aaron's channel. Then stay tuned, we've got another video coming up where I'm going to interview him a bit more about his story of coming to Vietnam to start teaching English here. So stay tuned for that video.